I'm taking over YouTube now. <laughs> um, anyway, I, <laughs> my name is Chandler Hogan. I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I know, capital of the world, I, I, I'm aware. A freelance, now freelance illustrator graphic designer. I worked at a place and I worked there for seven months. I was a graphic designer there and it was my first real job. It was very exciting. I, there's some aspects that I do miss. Um, I did leave on my own accord uh, a month ago um, and then I took kind of like a month off-ish. Now I'm back trying to figure shit out, you know? Um, doing a little more personal work. I just reached out to a client that reached out to me a month ago to do some Instagram stuff, maybe? Illustrations? We'll see, we'll see where that goes. I really hope that goes somewhere because I really like the place that asked me to do it. Very exciting. Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little about my old job and like why I left but I'm just gonna talk about a little about myself and how I work. Um, so I started working at this company in December, in the early December, it was very exciting. The pay raise, girl, girl it was double, double what I used to make at Starbucks. Very exciting, I love, I, at first I was very excited and you know, it's just something you can tell your parents, like I have a real job now. Remember when you said I wasn't going to have one? I have one. It's nice to flex on my parents, always. But then I started working there and I just felt, I don't know, like I felt really prepared when I applied. I was very confident in myself and my abilities and my work. And I started working there and nothing I was doing felt right. Do you know what I mean? I didn't feel like I was doing good at all. And that could have been outside factors, people working there, not myself and my confidence. Wow, I really do have like a grease stain right here. Never, literally I've never noticed that. Um, yeah, I made a change for my savings account and decided to leave. And living off of that little chunk of change until something else is happening, you know? kind of going with the flow. Um, also, I'm understanding myself a little more. I I hated the nine to five. I hated the routine. Doing the same things every day was extremely sad to me. Really, really wanted to stay there for a year at least to make it like really good on my resume. You know, that's the whole reason I did it, you know, but I couldn't. And I tell you I couldn't, I, really couldn't. I was just not feeling good about myself. My mental health was down the shitter. It was bad. So I decided to quit and it was really hard because they they always were like, you know, if you need help, let me know. And it's like, how do I tell you that you're not very encouraging? You know what I mean? Like, it's not something you can just be like, oh, hey, can you like tell me I'm doing a good job sometimes? Anyway, I have left. And I went to Miami for a week with my girlfriend. Um, that was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I guess there's not much to say. I'm looking for work, I'm looking for clients. You know, she probably had something figured out by the time I quit it. But you know, we love uh, no job security. Love that. So I just wanna make this little video about starting to freelance and kind of getting my feet and trying to see what things are working and what things are not and just figuring out what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I just kind of want to document that. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is interested. I'm going to post it probably. Yeah. Um, that's all I really had to say about that. It's been a, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to explain that a little bit. Um, I've been watching some Fran, Fran Nerd, and I was just watching Minnie Smalls and Anusha Sayed. So just getting all inspired. Planning on working. I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> just started painting. So, and I wanted to film. I've never done before, so 
welcome to my first video. I don't know what this is gonna be. It's going to be videos of me painting. I'm going to insert my little Miami trip video. Have I done one of these before? No. I, some people hate watching this right now just to see the awkwardness. Yes. And fair enough. Who among us? You know, I'll probably chime back in later. Hello and welcome to the voiceover. In this video, um, I'm going to be switching from vertical to horizontal, so stick in there with me because <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing at first, so that's why it's vertical. And then I learned and it became horizontal. So it's my first video. I'm kind of cutting myself a little slack. I'm pushing through self-doubt and feeling like I'm not good enough to film a video, but we're gonna push through. So this series is all about my childhood electronics. I've been kind of thinking about them for a while now because after showing many people my the game my favorite games that I used to play like Proud Family for the Game Boy. I had horses. I am now thinking that I did not have the childhood that mo many people had with um, like on brand games and uh, having fr like knowing franchises and stuff like that and <laughs> just very random games that I really loved. Um, I was like obsessed with those games even though they had like no plot. <laughs> oh, I just want to talk about why I chose to paint these. So I've been thinking about nostalgia for a while and how that kind of ties into your priorities changing and just change in general, I guess. Since quitting my job, I've just think, I've been thinking about this time as like a new era, whereas like it really isn't. It's like <laughs> my early 20s, like calm down, girl. Yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with how things change and how your mental state, how your priorities change how what is really important to you changes because of your circumstances. So I was just thinking about what was really important to me as a child, like of course friends and family and all of that, but I was thinking about how <laughs> unique my childhood was. It, <laughs> I had kind of a weird childhood and I feel like I did cling on to these electronics for support and they were really important to me and I just really don't think about these items anymore. I don't think about my really old chunky Nintendo DS anymore. I don't think about my 20 questions ball or the Proud Family for the Game Boy. Um, I, don't, I don't think about them anymore, and, but they used to be my whole world. They don't mean as much to me as they used to. And that's just something I really want to think about for right now, especially if I'm stressing out about something, if um, something's not going right and I'm really upset about it and disappointed, like those things aren't gonna matter as much in the future as they do right at this moment. So think, just thinking about how your environment changes a lot, so many times in your life and what you're used to and who you know just changes all of the time. Um, and it's really scary, especially like, freshman year to sophomore year of college, I had a really hard time 
um, transitioning. So just, I really wanna try to be more adaptable to change and I think I'm actually getting the hang of freelance and working from home, creating my own schedule, staying on task. Um, in the beginning, it was really hard because I just wanted to go outside and get coffee and hang out with friends. But I really, I kind of found my stride in working from home. And I really didn't expect to <laughs> think about all these topics um, when I decided to paint my childhood <laughs> electronics. Like, I didn't think that was gonna be the result of it. But, you know, I feel like like just art just surprises you in so many ways and how you communicate those things is just you can't predict it and it's and that is the coolest part to me i feel like i did find meaning in this whereas before i painted it i just was like oh i, I think this would be a cool idea and i think maybe it would sell very well you know and i was thinking about it i was like wait like these are just things that I really love and I'm painting like so much love into these things like thinking about how much I enjoyed them so that was just like really cool to like understand a little more about myself um, I also wanted to talk about future plans I really want to open an Etsy I know I have dabbled in doing Etsy I used to sell some things on there I used to do a little embroidery on the side um, that was really just for myself i really did i tried to sell it just to do something else but i really loved making that and i don't even like care about selling stuff i mean before now i do because i don't have a job but um before it was just so carefree and i really loved it i love the aspect of like taking photos of like products and you know like creating a brand for this it was just like really fun and i really want to approach it like that like how i really just want to like reflect myself um so i'm gonna have a lot of fun with branding i'm still trying to think of maybe a name i was thinking maybe i could just do my own name or maybe create a shop name i'm not sure i just i love the possibilities i love having ideas that's like my favorite part of art Cre coming up with the ideas and just thinking about all the possibilities I could do. That's my favorite part by far. I also am gonna try to get into craft fairs this year. I know it's that year's already half over, but I really wanna do like Christmas sales and holiday sales. Um, at my old college, they have a holiday sale and I'm definitely gonna do that one. Um, it's always really fun and you get to talk to other artists and just network. And I guess I'm gonna see people I know there. <laughs> uh, it'll be a little blast from the past, so that's always fun. Um, I'm also thinking about doing Hovercraft, which is a craft fair in Milwaukee. They're like really prestigious so it's a little uh, intimidating especially when I haven't really done it before but we'll see who cares like gotta start somewhere but um also just I'm going to be starting freelancing and I have been reaching out to local businesses and I'm gonna try to start doing some Instagram posts for some local businesses around town and that's just like so exciting and I'm just so excited for the future and I really didn't feel like that a couple months ago. I was not excited for the future. Um, I was scared and dreading it. So it's just, it's really nice to have a change of pace like that. Also, I'm this, this video is kind of like really monumental for me and because I personally have always really wanted to be like an inter internet person, influencer. But I've just like had a lot of like, you know, self image issues and stuff like that. So I never really thought I could. Once I decided I could, I just did it. And the video is here and it's made. And I'm just really happy I'm trying new things. Um, I'm trying some polymer clay stuff. I know everyone and their mom is freaking doing it, but it's just so fun because once it's baked and you glaze it, it just looks like a thing. Like it doesn't look like you, oh, mine looks like I made it, but you know, it's just, it, it's a product, you know, it's a piece after it's all done, said and done. It's not, not hypothetical anymore after um, baking it. I'm just really excited to try new things. I'm definitely giving myself a break. I used to think, um, a nine to five was my end goal. And now I'm realizing that's not even part of my plans. And 
that's just something I really need to get used to thinking because I'm just having the time of my life creating art. And I know that's not the most fiscally financial thing ever, but whatever. If I'm gonna, you only live once and the planet's dying. So why don't I just make art for the rest of my life? It's fine. <laughs> I'd rather have a side job that I don't love as much and do this rather than do a nine to five and come home exhausted, can't make art anymore. And that's my hot take for the day. <laughs> also, voiceovers are a lot harder than I thought it would be. This is like my fifth one. <laughs> and if you think this is bad, you should, this is the fifth one, okay? <laughs> I wanted to talk a little about gouache. Gouache is my new favorite medium by far. I have been trying to get back to watercolor and some acrylic and it's so hard, especially when you've been working with gouache, which is just so adaptable with water and it can act as a wash, as a thin layer, just like watercolor can, but it can go on like acrylic. It is like the best. I love the cross between the two. And I think I started really playing with gouache like last year. I didn't really get into it like much in college, especially towards the end, which was all on the computer design wise. Um, I, I really enjoy it. And I just have been having a lot of fun. And I feel like right now at this moment since i am in a good financial standing with everything i am prioritizing fun right now i am only doing pieces that i enjoy i'm only doing things that i love to do and that does include like client work i am i don't think i'm going to be taking on anything that i really don't love and enjoy i can't really see myself doing that right now I like I was reached out by like a dog food brand last year and I really made it fun for myself and that was really exciting because my prospects of that like actually intriguing me were really low um, but then I really I made it fun for myself and I the outcome I really loved I loved it and it's like a definitely a portfolio piece so I am going to tr try to treat everything with love and excitement and interest i just i'm really tired of hating my work i need to start loving it again it's a long process and i'm not even halfway there i definitely like even the pieces that i'm painting now are i when i finished them i was like mm, okay and i just i'm going to be starting loving myself and my work and just believing myself. I've decided <laughs> I'm done uh, belittling myself. I'm done pooping on myself all the time and I'm gonna just start loving it. And I'm just gonna hope my attitude is going to get me some places. So I hope you enjoyed watching me paint. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you at the end, bye. Hello, I hope you liked this video. Uh, my hair is different. We're not gonna talk about it. Don't worry. I know it looks awful. It's gonna be teal soon. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. It literally means so much to me. I'm really proud of this. <laughs> and it took a long time to make. I worked really hard on it. I don't do much in the video. So now I'm thinking about all of my favorite YouTubers and illustration bloggers and I applaud them because this is really hard. That voiceover, you should have seen how stitched together that was. I can't complete a full thought. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm gonna attach my info right here. Um, I will alert everyone when I open an Etsy store. I'm going to share all the days that I'm gonna be selling stuff from Milwaukee and I'm really excited. Thank you. My hair really does look like this. <laughs>